you can come in here and take one of our spots. Lost. Well, hello, ladies. Getting a spot on this team is hard. Keeping it. You got this. Is even harder. What's up, world? It's your girl, Brittany, and today we have the beautiful <laughs> women of the new VH1 hit series, Hit the Floor. It's Kimberly and Lee Hello. and Taylor Page. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Okay, so let me just say the first episode, although, you know, the show isn't supposed to be completely about drama, there's drama in the very beginning. There's drama. Our show does have drama. It's a lot of Rumble and tumble. <laughs> right. So, I mean, within the first five minutes, you're defying your mom. You're supposed to go on an interview with the bank, and instead you go try out for the Los Angeles Devils. I do. So, kind of tell me about, about your character, Asha, and, and, and kind of like her journey, I guess you could say, through, through the series. Asha is a young woman who, like a lot of us, um, is eager to start her life as an independent young woman. She's vibrant, she's um, excited, she's eager, she's she's very optimistic, she's very, um, a little bit naive, and she's danced her whole life and has wanted to be on this team as her mother did years ago, um, the Los Angeles Devil Girls, and she's danced her whole life. She just graduated college, and she's wanted this her whole life, and um, she decides to take this chance when she sees that there are these tryouts, and. I don't even think she thinks she could even get that far, and she's like surprised that she keeps going. She's gotta going, take her going. shot. Though. She's gotta take her shot. In your real life, did your parents ever, because you graduated from college, did your parents ever kind of encourage you to go the safe route, or were they always behind you? Um, My parents are definitely supportive, but I, I wanted this for so long. I'm telling you, like, there's nothing I'd rather do. And it's funny because, I remember my sophomore year in college, my dad said, well, I think you should go to nursing school or, or what are you gonna do when you graduate? Like, it, And I was like, is it not clear? Is it not clear yet? I don't care if I'm broke working at a restaurant for I'm gonna do this. Like it's gonna happen, I don't know when. And it happened my fourth year. Like my fourth year of college, my last semester, the dream role was, it was like I was supposed to go to college and I was supposed to be an actor. I mean, it was like the timing is like, it's divine. And then my mom has always been behind my dance, but was kind of like, I, she's like, let your dance speak for itself. And I was always kind of, it's funny because our relationship's very similar in the show where, not in terms of this dynamic, but we were always battling like, my mom was like, well, I always wanted to be in acting class. And my mom's like, no, just stay in dance class and let, let that like grow on its own. Mm -hmm. And I was like, no, but I want to be in acting class. So. It's kind of cool that I actually stepped out when I graduated from high school and decided to start paying for my own acting classes and, and making it happen for myself. So it's kind of like the way Asha decided, okay, she made this decision to be on this team, I made a decision to be an actress and kind of get out of my dancing and focus more on becoming an actress. And so it's very funny how our lives parallel, not the exact same situations, yeah. but in terms of coming of age, being independent, making it happen. Correct. Right. Yeah. Um, and Kimberly, you've done so many amazing movies. Um, Woo! So many. <laughs> uh, how much different is it, you know, doing a series now um, and doing television as opposed to, you know, doing movies and being on these, you know, huge sets and large um, budgets? And well, it's been a really great experience. Uh, what I love about doing TV that's different than film is that I never know where my character is going to go. Film, obviously, I know how the story is going to end. I know what's going to happen. This is. So, uh, we have so many plot twists and turns, and nothing is as simplistic as it appears. For example, we're talking about how Sloane doesn't want Asha to do the dancing. Well, it's not as simple as it appears. It's not just a mother who doesn't want her daughter to go after her dream. And as you get into more of the episodes, you see that it's, there's much more complexity behind this. Uh, apprehension about Asha doing those things. Right. Mm -hmm. So what I've gauged from seeing the first episode is that maybe Sloane has a little bit of history or a little bit of skeletons in her closet. Well what's great is that Sloane is not your typical TV mom. It's not all about 
you know, making dinner and worrying about the kids. Mm -hmm. There's a whole nother, I wouldn't have done a show like that where if, if that's all I am, like the sad light mom. There's, <laughs> there's so much more to this character and that gets peeled back and revealed and our relationship and our dynamics mm -hmm. and really the heart of the show is about what this world, this dance world, this sports dance world coming into our lives does to our relationship and how it spins us in in our different ways and brings in new relationships yes. and challenges and it's very loaded it's loaded mm -hmm. so it's not it's there's it's a lot well by the time we got to the finale oh you're gonna God. need to take some yoga <laughs> <or something. laughs> it's a lot james larosa is the creator and the writer of the show and he is a master amazing he really is a master so we feel really really lucky What's like the one thing that's going to have everybody hooked this season? <sighs> I had to sit up straight. <laughs> there are so many cliffhangers. Yeah. There's so much drama, but there's also a lot of comedic relief. Yeah. Everybody's dynamic and has something different to bring. It's not a one It's not a city show. Just the overall plotting and storytelling is going to have people hooked. It's yeah. just addictive. Mm -hmm. It's just, it ends and it's like, wait, 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 wait. And we the dance. And the dancing. Ugh. You want to see legs like, whoo. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We have like the best dancers in the country. People are, are like confusing it with like it's a cheerleading show. This is oh. so not a cheerleading show. No, this no, is dancing. This is like, dan like dancers will be proud. Yeah, dancers will be proud. These women train their whole lives, and mm -hmm. this was what they trained for. This sort of opportunity, yes. wouldn't you say? Oh yeah, yeah. they're yeah. like we. And it's a lot fierce. of them, it is. It's and a lot fierce. of them were like, I never get because a lot of dancers grow up technically, and they're competing, and they're like, I never got to use my technique when I do like a commercial or I go on tour. You know, it's very like. You do the choreography and that's it. But every week it was something new and Michael Rooney's such a classical, traditional choreographer. We all got to bring like our double, you know, our triple pirouettes, yeah. our fuetes, our leaps, our... Some are, I know some of the girls were saying this is like the hardest dancing yeah. they've ever had to do and they've been dancing forever.